Hey everyone, uh, so in this video what I want to talk about, um, just using my phone to record this, is the total eclipse that's going to happen in a few states in Indiana. <clears throat> now, there are people like um, Jim Staley and the so-called Torah people um, and Christians uh, they came out and said something significant is going to happen. And then they start talking about the seven cities that's referred to in the Bible. And um, Jim Staley was using some numerology there, which the Bible says is witchcraft. And then they talk about it's going to be a cross over, you know, certain states. It's going to form a cross. Well, the cross is pagan anyway, because we know that Yeshua was crucified on a cross that looked more like a T-shape than an actual cross. However, here's the fact of the matter. Total eclipses happen every 18 months. That's every year and a half around the world. So, this total eclipse will happen again in 18 months. Now, every time it happens, something big happens in the US, they act like they're the only country that they're the only nation um, in this whole entire world. It shows you, unfortunately, the arrogance and the selfishness of, of most Americans. And if you hear those noises in the background, that's our beautiful chickens and roosters. I think one's just laid an egg. Um, but the, the, this is a typical thing for Americans. Uh, back in 2013, I exposed a bunch of these so-called false prophets. And every few years, they come out with this garbage. Last time, it was the blood moons. Now, if something did happen today, then so be it. No one knows the day and the hour. Be prepared at all times. Don't be like a whore whose husband is away. And just because her husband's coming back, she's repenting. So in other words, all the time her husband's away, she's having adulteries and affairs. And then as soon, as soon as her husband comes back, she repents. That's, that's Yeshua or Yahweh sees right through that. You are to be the loyal so-called wife or the bride, uh, whether your husband's away or not. You don't just repent when he's about to return. Then if he doesn't return, you carry on living like a whore. Um, now, all I'm saying is every time something big like this happens in the United States, they act like they're the only country in the world. What about 18 months ago when it happened somewhere else? What about the 18 months before that? Nothing was said. But now because it's happening in the United States, the total eclipse this time, um, now something significant is going to happen. These people install fear. Um, the Bible says the perfect love casts out all fear. We have a fear of Yahweh. We respect him as I have any father. It's a healthy fear. Um, sure, could a terrorist attack happen on, on an occasion like this? Possibly. And we all know that, unfortunately, the governments are a bunch of terrorists themselves that orchestrate things like 9-11, which is a fact, 9-11. Um, so, you know what? Um, something might happen tomorrow instead. Something might happen the next day. You might die in a car accident tomorrow. You might die in a car accident next month. You might be shot in the next year. You might die of cancer. You might die of a heart attack. You might die of anything. Be prepared at all times, okay? Um, I just uh, blast my mind. Just because 18 months ago, nothing was said because it happened in a different country. But now this year, because it's happening in the United States, Something's going to happen. This happens every 18 months. Give me a dang break. Um, anyway, you guys remain in the faith. I know that this, this is going to come. It's going to go. And Jim Staley and those people that said something significant is going to happen when 2025 comes along or tomorrow comes along, better repent. People want to be, everyone wants to be a prophet. Everyone thinks they in the know. It's almost like narcissism. They're in the know, nobody else is. It's stupid and it's retarded. And these people do this every few years. They want something uh, to happen. Get the hell back, Sterling.
that's our rooster trying to be an ass right here. But you guys remain in the faith. Um, whether something happens because of the eclipse or not because of the eclipse, be prepared at all times. Remain in the faith. Stay in the word. See you all next time. Shalom. Take care. Yahweh bless you.